Scott Steiner was was arguably one of the best opponents I ever had. And, you know, I may catch flag for this, but he doesn't cry when you hit him. You know, I mean, accidents happen. The reality is, if I wanted to hurt people, I would have done it every single match. If Brock wanted to hurt people, he'd do it every single match. But it's a dance. And what happened with Bret Hart was an accident. What happened, you know, a couple other guys was accidents. But the reality is, man, you, that, that, that other guy puts his life in your hands. And you're a moron if you take advantage of that. And there were morons there. But I wasn't one of them. And when I accidentally slipped and did something to somebody, here's the deal. You, you guys want to know about me? Look at the video of the Battle Royal at WCW. I'm six months into the into the business. I don't know shit from Shinola, right? I'm leading, I'm being led around by everybody who takes it upon themselves to point me in the right direction. Unfortunately, some of them pointed me in the wrong direction, but um, Steiner and I went at it. I mean, if you see some of the shots, that the forearms that we threw, at that match, okay? So the microcosm of defining Goldberg as a human being is in that match. I get in the ring, or no, Steiner gets in the ring, and like I say, I'm right in the business, right in the beginning of the business, so I don't know what's going on. And all of a sudden, Steiner yells, hit me, and he's on my left side, and I'm not left-handed. And I, and I didn't work really good on my left punch, but he kept screaming at me, hit me, and I'm like, you know, I'm in the wrong position, dude, but here goes. I broke his orbital, okay? I blasted him on accident. I knew I broke something. Remember the mask he was wearing? Yeah. That's why he wore the mask, oh. okay? So right when I dropped him, what do you think happened? I went right down, and I'm like, Jesus Christ. You know, I didn't care about the cameras. I didn't care about what was going on in the match. I didn't care because I hurt a friend of mine, yeah. and... The business went completely, it was second, it was back door. It, it wasn't my concern. My concern was my friend. Um, but at the end of the day, he didn't cry when you hurt him, when you hit him, because he wanted that. And that's what people wanted to see. Ming was a great guy to wrestle. Because he was, I, I power, I mean, I power slammed him, T-boned him straight up and down like a lawn dart. Yeah. Went over him, covered him. Ming, my God, are you all right? Right in the middle of the match. Was he backstage still also crazy like in the ring? <laughs> he was nuts. He was nuts. But he was awesome. That's why I liked him, because yeah. he, could, he could go. Um, he, he taught me more than 90% of the people in that business. And I value his opinion, and I, and I look up to him, and he's an idol of mine. And I very much was appreciative that he would take five seconds with me and point me in the right direction. Um, Scott, St I mean, uh, Rick Steiner, another one, loved Rick. You know, those guys took me over to Japan and showed me what it was like, really, to potato somebody. Um, but they were the real tough guys. And I really enjoyed going out there because I didn't feel nervous, you know. Uh, we could just go, and it, it was just like a real fight. I'm telling you, watch that, watch that Battle Royal with I me will. and Steiner. The forearms he was laying in on me, they're just like what he does, okay? No difference. He tried to knock, he tried to take my head completely off. Yeah. But it was give and take. And that's, we knew that the people would eat that up. And, and we were men enough to do it. Now, granted, that's not professional wrestling, but it's maybe old time professional wrestling, but it is what it is. And we had to do what we did. We wanted to do what we did to, to entertain the fans in a, on a different level than everyone else does. I'm not saying, you know, you go out there and do that, but hey, if you've got two guys that are willing to go, Let's go. Provides a great show. Uh, Kurt Hennig, unbelievable teacher. Loved working with him. Um, I like working with a lot of people, man. Uh, uh, Hector Guerrero, you know, taught me every, you know, a lot of stuff. Chavo taught me a lot of stuff. Um, Dwayne Bruce, my coach, taught me a lot. Uh, Arn Anderson taught me a lot. Who was the Sarge? Uh, the Sarge from the Paul Land, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. I get him in the corner in a match. I hit him like 15 times. Uh, we get in the back after the match. He goes, why'd you hit me 15 times? <laughs> I said, I wanted to look like I was you know, hurting you. He said, hit me once. I'm going down. It's a lot more powerful then, right? I said, well, you're right. 
So sure it made my job a lot easier. <laughs> you know, but there were a lot of guys, a lot of guys I very much enjoyed working with. Conversely, there were a lot of guys that I didn't like working with, but they will be, they will remain unnamed.